In this video, we're going to show you how to create mind maps using ticks. To create this video, we've adapted and simplified an example found in Chapter 6 of the ticks documentation. So if you want to go into greater detail on this topic, make sure you check out the extensive documentation. To get started, we load up the ticks package and the mind map ticks library. Next, we open a ticks picture environment. For our example, we'll make a mind map to display the different video series we've made. We'll start by making a tree diagram and then we'll format it into a real mind map. We start the tree with the title or central concept. This is added in using a node. We can then give this node children, which are themselves nodes, which can also have their own children, and so on. Let's add in four child nodes for the series titles. A child is inserted using the child keyword, and then we specify a node in curly brackets. We close the node statement with a semicolon just before the end command. If we compile the code, we can see our code has produced a slightly muddled tree diagram. Let's add in the next layer of nodes and then we'll start formatting it to look more like a mind map. To make the branches of our tree surround the central node, we add the grow cyclic option into square brackets at the end of the begin command. We can also specify a text width and add the flush center alignment option to tidy up our text. Next we'll specify styles for the different tree levels. Level 1 is defined as everything coming out of the main parent node, while level 2 is everything coming out of the first generation of child nodes. So in our example, level 1 is everything coming out of the Share Latex Tutorial video's title, and level 2 is everything coming out of our series titles. To specify the styles for these levels, we write the name of the level, followed by a forward slash and full stop, then the keyword style, an equal sign, and then the formatting options for the level in curly brackets. In the curly brackets, we need to specify a level distance and a sibling angle. The level distance is the distance between the centers of the child nodes and the center of the node connected above it. We've set the level distances to five centimeters in level one and three centimeters in level two. This means that the distance between the mind map title and the series titles is five centimeters and the distance between the series titles and the individual videos is three centimeters. The sibling angle is the angle between the branches. As we only have four branches at the top of level one, we've given level one a sibling angle of 90 degrees. As we have many more branches coming out of the first generation nodes, we've given level two a sibling angle of 45 degrees. Our tree is now looking pretty good. But to turn it into a proper mind map, we need to make use of the mind map ticks library. To do this, we add the keyword mind map into the formatting options. We also need to add the concept option to every node, like this. We can then set a default color for all the nodes using concept color equals followed by a color. We'll choose an orange. We can now get rid of the text width and align options as the mind map option will automatically format the text. Finally, we also need to add the keyword append in after the full stop in our level style specifications. Now if we compile the code, we'll see Tix has generated some nice bubble shapes and links to turn our tree into an aesthetically pleasing mind map. Finally, we can edit the colors of the different nodes and their children. To do this, we simply add a pair of square brackets after the keyword child and use them to specify a concept color. Note that specifying a concept color at this point will affect all the nodes down from it. Let's give each of the four series a separate color. We'll also give the mind maps node a different color as it is the one we are creating now.
Notice that as we have set concept colors, rather than just the color, Tix has made nice transitions between the colors on the branches. This concludes our video on creating mind maps and also our series on using Tix. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking the on-screen link and keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter and Google+.